Welcome to this week's webinar, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, and uh, today we're going to go through all major currency pairs, our short position in gold, um, and uh, we're going to go look at the, at the US dollar, what to expect from the US dollar this week. Um, also, what to expect from all major currency pairs. We've had a good, good, good uh, 100, 100 plus bit flush in, uh, in the... the, the um, the um, British pound against the US dollar that's uh, due to Brexit negotiations. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the DXY gold. I told you we're going to look at all major indices. And uh, um, we're going to have a uh, look at some other currency pairs that we are currently monitoring, right? Uh, so uh, let's have a look at. Uh, at uh, the market, shall we? Because we have an exciting week ahead of us. And um, uh, let's make the best out of it, right? So let's start with the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar. Now, this has been quite uh, the difficult trade, right? Because Why? Well, uh, you already know uh, if you follow us uh, or have been following us for a while, you already know that. Uh, uh, well, we are above our major, um, uh, above a major zone in the Kiwi, right? In the Kiwi USD. That's the 70, uh, the 070 level. Why is this, is this a big, big, big level? Well, because of this, right? So a massive, massive, massive zone of resistance has just been broken on the Kiwi, right? And uh, because of that, uh, our short idea, this was our big short idea, right? It's no longer valid. That short idea is no longer valid. Even though on the two-day chart, this looks extremely bearish, right? Get, uh, we are forming uh, with this candle a reversal pattern of the two-day chart, right? We we'll go to the daily. Let's have a look at the daily. And the, the daily looks less bearish. The, well, the daily looks less bearish in the sense that, uh, well, we could say that this is a reversal pattern and we are on our way to go lower. But the thing is that we are still trading above that 0, 0,700 level, 0, 0,70, whatever the whatever you want to call it, right? <laughs> so. Um, uh, whilst we'll, we, we are trading above that level, we will no longer be looking for short opportunities in the Kiwi USD. Even though that this was a very, a uh, kind of a slam dunk uh, short from these zones, uh, we never got filled on that, right? Because our, our pattern, reversal pattern, never broke. That's why we use pending orders when trading the markets. Now, um, let's go to the hourly, right? And uh, let's, uh, you know what? Let's delete uh, all lines, drawings, etc. from the daily. Let's focus on what we can actually see right now, right? So uh, let's start by looking at the four hour chart on the Kiwi. Um, the immediate structure, let's have a look at the immediate structure. We are breaking with this immediate structure. I don't know why my line is purple. But I'm going to change that right now. Oh, uh, yeah, what we're saying, we are, we are, um, uh, I'm sorry, we, we are breaking with this structure that we are currently trading in, right? Now, there's two ways of drawing this structure. Uh, we can draw it by, by uh, drawing the highs and then cloning that, or by drawing the, the lows and then cloning that. If you do the, the highs, um, the structure is not broken yet, but in my opinion, if you are looking at a uh, up move, the most important thing to look at are the lows, not the highs, because uh, you can, you can. Uh, I mean, when the lows are broken, this is when the actual structure breaks, right? This is just uh, not my opinion, but this is actually uh, kind of logical, ah, right? So, we are retesting that key level, right? Why is this a key level? Because uh, we broke to the upside. Well, right here we got some resistance, 
We broke to the up upside, retested it. And now we are currently retesting that uh, 700 level. It, and also it's the psychological round number, 700. So this is, this is the zone that we're currently trading on. Now, I'm not saying that this is a buy opportunity, by all means. Um, by all means, but um, let me just write this here. Okay, so I, I'm not saying that this is a buy opportunity by all means, right? What I'm saying is that uh, we are retesting a very important level. And the last four hour, four hour candle was very bearish, right? Um, let's see, let's calculate that. So 41 pip, uh, 41 pip bar. Now, if the Kiwi starts to depreciate or to lose that uh, momentum to the upside, which it looks like it has having, I mean, just look at just, I mean, just by looking at price action itself, right? We have that rejection candle at, uh, at, um, around the, uh, 70, 70, 80 or so. And then we have a move to the downside with the last four hour candle being extremely bearish. Now from high to low, this move has been of about a hundred pips, right? Of about a hundred pips to the 70, to the 0 70 level. Now, um, because, because uh, we are at a very important level, we need to focus on price actions reaction to this level. Now, uh, in the immediate term, bears are in control, but of course we are in a very bullish market right here on the Kiwi USD, uh, mainly due to some, uh, um, US dollar weakness. Now let's uh, add the DXY here to the, to the mix. And as you can see, this is pretty much a, a um, reversed uh, or an inverse correlation with the US dollar, right? Uh, let's delete this. So uh, what we are going to do here, uh, we are going to look at two scenarios. First of all, uh, the U if the US dollar continues to strengthen do uh, throughout the week, well, we are going to look for short opportunities here on the Kiwi USD. But if we bounce from this level, I am not keen on buying the Kiwi USD at these levels because it's just way too high, right? Uh, and I'm, I am not a scalper. I don't scalp the markets. I, I take my time with the, my positions. Um, and um, yeah, that's just how I do things. You know, you don't have to do the same with me or ask me, but this is just how I do things, right? And uh, my, my preferred scenario would be a break retest for a flush to the next key level. That is... Uh, um, I, I reckon are these lows right here around the 68.80. That would give us a um, a risk of about 50 pips for a, a one to three risk to reward scenario on a 100 pip move to the downside. So that's what I'm looking at here on the Kiwi USD. That of course is if uh, this continuation uh, pattern actually fails and uh, this breakout is actually real. This is the four hour chart, so this might take some time, uh, but uh, we are coming from a very rangy market at the top of a big bullish move too. So uh, just imagine, just have a look at this, right? Oh, let me just get rid of this. Okay, so we are coming from uh, this uh, bullish move from the, from the down, uh, from the bottom to the highs, we are talking about a 1,642 pip for an almost one year run. Well, not almost one year, this is a 259 day uh, bullish run, right, on the Kiwi USD. So, do, uh, shorting the Kiwi USD would be a, a, uh, a, a, a definitely a counter trade move, but also. Um, it would be a uh, on a pullback, so it won't be a swing trade, but more of a uh, short term to mid term uh, pullback on some uh, uh, bullish um, bullish U.S. dollar, something around this right here, right? Even though we were in a big bullish market, we can still find some bearish opportunities, and if this 
uh, bullish scenario fails, I believe that this is our short right here. So uh, I'm going to put that on my watch list as always. There you go. Uh, and as always, our VIP uh, team will receive my signals. And if you want that to be the case with you, uh, just I'm going to leave a link below this video so you can actually subscribe because we do have fun training and uh, we make money in doing so too. Now, uh, let's have a look at uh, the US dollar, Canadian dollar. Another nice market to look at, right? Uh, let's get rid of all of this. And uh, you can see that we have two lines here. And uh, this is, um, I'm going to color it differently. Uh, I remember that why I had the magenta one. This is a super strong structure that we are looking at. You can, I mean, this is a one hour chart. That's why you can't see it. But if we go to the three day chart, uh, yeah, I mean, that's too much. Maybe to the daily chart, right? If you go to a daily chart, you can see that this uh, magenta structure was broken with on, on, uh, on, um, on very good employment numbers last Friday on non-farm payrolls Friday. I'm talking about Canadian employment numbers. I'm not talking about US employment numbers, right? So uh, we broke with this structure and not only we broke with this structure, but we broke with a very important level, right? Now, uh, I only see downside on the Canadian dollar and the USD CAD. Uh, I only see downside on the USD CAD uh, for the time being. And this structure is no longer valid, so I'm just going to delete this. Uh, we are only playing right here with uh, 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 levels uh, on the daily and the four hour chart, etc. So I only see the downside here on the USD CAD because of how strong the Canadian dollar is at the moment. Uh, and uh, if we go to the hourly chart, uh, there is not set up. The, I mean, there is no setup for me to 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 uh, uh, to short the USD CAD just yet, but. Uh, uh, but my preferred level for a short would be the 129 level. So I'm going to put on an alert here. And of course, our VIPs are going to get that signal from me. The link is below this video if you want to join. Right. So um, 129 would be my preferred level to short the USD CAD. Uh, and then let's have a look at the structure, right? And, and that is assuming that this is the next low of the structure, right? Um, all, all right, so hold on. Um, this would be actually the correct structure right here. Let's clone this one. And uh, let's see if we are bouncing from we are bouncing from the lows of what seems to be a very deep, uh, steep structure. Now, I do believe also that we have hit some very important targets to the downside, assuming that this was the uh, the beginning of, uh, or the first leg of the structure should be, um, let's have a look, around the 261.8, I'm sorry, this is a little higher right here. Around the 261.8, 161.8, we are hitting some very strong levels to the downside. Um, no. I'm not going to buy the US dollar Canadian dollar, right? I'm never going to do that. I'm not going to buy the USD CAD. That's just a losing pro uh, uh, a losing um, um, a scenario. Why? Even though we are having some uh, some bullish reaction to these lows, uh, what I'm looking for are the impulse moves and the impulse moves are to the downside So I am going to be waiting for that pullback to this level for the next leg down um, There's nothing much more to do on the USD CAD than to wait for that to happen uh, There's no setups at, uh, right now by all means there is no setups uh, And uh, yeah, I mean uh, patience is key in uh, what we do right Let's move on. Gold. Gold is moving to the upside. We might get a new short opportunity here. Uh, I'm already short uh, uh, this market. So, um, but let's delete some, some uh, lines here that are no longer in play, right? 
Now, the important thing to notice in Go is that, uh, in my opinion, we have turned. Uh, no, this is not correct. <laughs> we have. Uh, we have. We are testing a very, very strong, strong um, uh, level. Let me show you this strong level that we actually. I'm going to just delete all drawings, and uh, let's uh, let's start over, right? Uh, so we are retesting a very strong level. Now, this is a bearish structure that we are currently trading in and right there. You can see that uh, not only we are retesting the top of that bearish structure, but we are also uh, retesting these lows right here. Boom. Uh, I'm sorry, these lows right here. We are retesting those lows. This is a very, very massive level on gold. Just look at how strong this level was guarded by uh, bulls before we actually broke with it and then retested. So, um, and uh, not only that, but we, are, we also uh, broke with this reversal pattern right let me show you that reversal pattern because this is the exact um well this is the exact play or the exact um uh uh hold on yeah this is the exact uh, scenario that we played in gold right why we shorted gold so um this is the 50 minute chart let's go to the hourly chart uh, I'm not so keen on looking at the lower time frame. No, this is a daily. Uh, I'm not so keen on looking at the at the lower time frames, uh, or the 50 minute, etc. Only for for entries. So uh, we broke with this uh, uh, with this uh, reversal pattern right there at the retest of those uh, of those levels, and uh, we well I found uh, some. Uh, uh, bearish divergence right here at the top of the move, making higher highs, and then my oscillator making lower highs. Now, uh, having said that, um, uh, this short in gold also, uh, uh, well, is also running fueled by some US dollar strength. Right, we are going to look at the US dollar two in a few seconds. Now, uh, we broke with this pattern and now we are retesting the previous broken level right here. So, uh, if uh, gold breaks with these highs, uh, I'm going to be out of my position, right, on a small loss. Why small loss? Because my stop losses were all the way up here and because we printed a new low, a new, a new lower low, I moved my stops here. Actually, I don't know if I did. Let me see. I didn't, so I'm gonna do that right now. As you can hear from my MT4 platform on my other screen. Now, there, my stops are here now. Uh, yeah, the reason is because we printed a new, a new higher low and uh, uh, we broke with this structure. We broke with this low. We printed a new lower low. I mean, everything points out at a, a uh, continuation to the downside. Now, the next key level is going to be very strong because it's, it's these highs. Right here, right here, and a previously broken and retested level, okay? Now, uh, bulls ran, ran out of fuel here. Now, the impulsive, impulsive, impulsive moves are to the downside, as you can see from price action itself. Blam! Then just a choppy pullback and then blam! Choppy pullback, hopefully blam, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully blam. So this is uh, this is the gold. Uh, I mean, uh, this is what I'm looking at. Gold. Uh, there's nothing more to it. Going now to the lower time frame, 50 minute chart or so. Uh, you can see that we are clearly, clearly rejecting the same level again. And and uh, and uh, uh, just by looking at the daily open, we co we're coming. Uh, from a very bearish, bearish, bearish open, right? So that's gold, in my opinion. Uh, in my opinion, uh, and the, this, that's what, what I'm playing gold, not looking to buy this metal anytime soon. Uh, and I was waiting for that retest at the highs last Friday to short gold uh, based on the, um, based on what we are discussing and based on uh, I wanted to get in on these impulsive moves, right? Look at this is the two-hour chart. 
uh, we have impulses to the downside and then choppy market and then bam impulses and then uh, this is not a choppy market but this is a pullback uh, and uh, well I'm just waiting for the next impulse impulsive move in gold remember that also because um, because we are uh, or because risk is back on this is going to be bearish for gold right uh, when I say the risk is back on uh, it means that uh, riskier assets are back in play like equities etc so yeah um, gold is going to suffer from that that was gold uh, we are going to go ahead and have a look at uh, the US dollar Japanese yen this is a market that I haven't well I haven't played in a while because it has been because one I, I uh, I completely uh, missed uh, this short last week that was a slam dunk short uh, if you ask me but I missed it it was during my off time or my sleep time right and uh, right now we are retesting some broken levels I'm and uh, actually this looks good <laughs> so let's have a look at uh, the US dollar versus the Japanese yen right uh, the thing about this is that we are looking at uh, some US dollar strength right uh there is some us dollar strength going on at the at the moment uh we're going to go, go ahead and look at the japanese yen futures too uh because it's important uh, to look at uh uh at well for me at least it's important to look at the japanese yen futures if you if you are going to trade the the japanese yen right uh so why don't we do that let's have a look at the japanese yen futures actually uh, i'm going to load my load my chart layout uh my commodities chart layout and currently gold is just um just a, a reminder right here gold is currently very much rejecting those previously broken levels like i told you i mean i, I take my time when i do this uh, the euro yen uh, rejected the 130 level we didn't uh -huh, rejected the 130 level well uh, let's have a look why because the euro US dollar is um, yeah uh, crashing well not crashing but you understand what I mean so this is the 30 second chart that's weird <laughs> uh, 15 minute chart why is every, why is all my charts in seconds i don't know but that is weird but this looks fun right <laughs> uh all right so let's have a look at uh well that was my short in gold oh no that's another that's a long term uh long well it doesn't matter uh no this is silver so uh the, um we are going to look at the japanese yen futures is this chart right here this is the Japanese yen futures. If you want to look at it yourself, you can look at it with this symbol, the 6J. And the one uh, and the one uh, exclamation is the continuous contract. So we are kind of trapped in a range in the Japanese yen futures market. Uh, let's uh, delete this uh, and uh, let's delete this and let's use this one uh, right here. We are kind of trapped in a range and uh, right now we are retesting the previous uh, broken level right here the previous highs i'm sorry uh and uh and everything is looking a little bit bullish in this market and uh if uh, uh and well if the japanese yen futures rises that is that is bearish for the us dollar japanese yen that is bearish for the pound yen that is bearish for the euro yen etc but uh, remember that um the stronger currency uh, on the USD yen is the US dollar. So if we do get some bullishness, very strong bullishness on the US dollar, I think that that is going to lead that move, right? So the US, but uh, but we also, I mean, having said that, we need to look at uh, at uh, the at this market too. So it looks like we are in a bullish market uh, or in a bullish move uh, midterm with uh, a pullback in play on the Japanese yen right uh and uh well having said that let's go back to the us dollar japanese yen so if we are retesting the previous lows 
on the US dollar Japanese yen and the Japanese yen rises and the US dollar uh, starts to chop or even goes bearish uh, that is going to be all all very bearish for the US dollar Japanese yen right uh, to me there is no setup to short the US dollar Japanese yen at this time uh, uh, and there is no setup to do anything at all I'm just pointing out some uh, uh, well uh, key levels right in um, in your chart or in my chart uh, but I mean this is the only thing that I'm seeing on the US dollar Japanese yen but that is some big ifs right uh, the for for this short to happen the US dollar needs to at least chop or if not go bearish and you're going to see right now that the the US dollar is right now this is the hourly chart on the US dollar uh, right here uh, the DXY chart let's me let's do a bigger one uh, and uh, uh, and you can see that we we did have a very bullish open uh, and right now this looks like a pullback on the US dollar pre market pre US market so um, that I mean if we continue to have a US dollar strength uh, this level is not going to hold uh, so this uh, bearish idea on the US dollar Japanese yen just uh, uh, based on technicals it's very thin to me you know I wouldn't take it uh, and uh, even though even though the impulsive moves are to the downside and uh, the uh, uh, upside is looking very choppy like a pullback just because of how strong the US dollar is, uh, this is a no-go to me. But again, I mean, I'm just pointing out key levels. Now, let's move on. Let's have a look at the pound. We've been going for half an hour. Uh, I will be, uh, again, uh, uh, I think I'm, um, this is going to be uh, uh, another half hour long or so. So stick with me. Uh, we, we have only gone through four markets. We have four markets yet to go more than four markets because we're going to look at uh, the pound yen the euro yen the the pound us dollar i'm sorry the euro us dollar the aussie us dollar the us dollar swiss franc uh the us dollar itself and uh the dow and the nasdaq and the s&p 500 <laughs> all right so uh yeah that was the japanese yen the us dollar japanese yen let's have a look at the pound the pound pound um, I myself was long the pound from these lows, took some profits around this level, and when this happened, I moved my stops to break uh, to below these lows. Right here, I got stopped out at the open, which is fine. Uh, I, I saved myself from from this move to the downside. Now, having said that, let's go to the hourly chart. Uh, again, if you want to receive my uh, my actionable analysis and uh, and uh, my signals there is a link below this video for you to join the vip team um yeah i mean uh yeah i'm just inviting you to join <laughs> all right so we have broken with this structure right uh with the current structure the immediate structure on the us dollar on the jump on the pound on the pound usd is a bullish one or was a bullish one right um let's have a look at uh, i haven't uh, i mean uh, i haven't had we haven't had a had had a look at uh, the um at my news terminal so why don't we do that all right so uh let's see brexit the eu's chief negotiator has told meps that negotiation on a post-brexit deal could continue until wednesday but no further uh-huh uh, we need to go way back i mean um, trade talks have resumed um brexit eu, EU financial services commissioner mcginnis is not looking good uk failing to understand need for compromise blah 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 seems like boris johnson is is as, is as stubborn as we all know he can be uh, senior EU diplomats at Barrier Frost negotiation made some progress since Frost arrival in Brussels yesterday, but did not bridge all difference on on three areas. Uh, Blum, Switzerland, we don't care. UK officials says Brexit talks likely to end today if no progress. I mean, we're going back in time, so yeah. 
UK uh, Halifax. Well, that was UK PM. All right. So yeah, as you can see, uh, Brexit and uh, talks are uh, falling falling down, uh, and um, <laughs> so is the, the the British pound. Right. <laughs> uh we've had a move from high to low right here uh or about 300 pips move to the downside now what to expect what is uh, uh what are the key levels that we are going to be playing now um what i'm looking for is the let's go to the forward chart to look for some levels actually now these are the highs that i was looking at but because of how strong this move was to the downside, I'm not looking to buy into, into this weakness at all, right? I mean, uh, uh, and also with the US dollar, being, uh, US dollar strengthening right here, uh, I'm not looking to buy into this. Um, what I will be looking for, it would be actually a retest of these uh, previous broken lows around the previous broken level around the what? The 133, yeah, a retest of the 133 would be awesome to short the pound versus the US dollar right here. We haven't had that retest just yet, the 133. Uh, that uh, pullback might be in play pre-market, pre-US market, but this will be the zone that I would be looking to short uh, the pound versus the US dollar. Of course, that all subscribers are going to be getting that. Um, signal if you want to join the link is below this video yep don't fall for anything else don't buy into this weakness that's just some clever advice now the aussie us dollar the aussie usd uh, this is a market that i don't trade too often you know uh, I mean, uh, it's not, it's just not during my, uh, my, my screen time, uh, you, you know, the APAC session, I don't trade the APAC session. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, the Aussie, the, the Kiwi, etc., are, are, are markets that I don't trade often, but when I do is because there is a good opportunity, but like I said, uh, I, I don't see anything, anything appetizing here on the Aussie US dollar other than we are retesting some very important highs on the daily, I think. Let's have a look. I reckon. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we are retesting this previous, this previous level. Uh, when we haven't, we haven't traded at this level since, since July 2018. Well, we have just found out that we are actually retesting a very important level. Oh boy, what is it? Where was it? Okay, so we are retesting a very important level that we haven't retested since, uh, uh, yeah, since July 2018. Uh, so that's a long, long time ago. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, what's going on is that, uh, well, we, c we currently missed this, uh, uh, short that I mean this is a 50 minute chart I'm sorry let's go to the hourly uh, this wasn't uh, clear of a setup to go short the the, the um, I mean uh, the the Aussie US dollar now because we are retesting this very this very important level on the daily uh, we need to look for some immediate levels that we can trade off or we can trade from right uh, let's look at these highs right here yep i mean this level is gone so this is basically the zone the sell zone this is basically the sell zone on the aussie us dollar right there now the immediate structure has been broken with all right so uh, what i would be keen on doing here would be a retest of these lows right here to short the Aussie bam I am not uh, doing anything other than uh, maybe shorting the Aussie uh, on a um, on a pullback right because not only we are retesting a massive level but also we are um, uh, experiencing some US dollar strength 
right? Uh, that's the Aussie. And finally, uh, the US dollar versus the Swiss franc. Remove drawings, let's go to the four hour. Nothing much going on here. Uh, there's absolutely nothing going on here. I'm, I'm not, even, not even going to bother uh, looking at this chart. That is a no-go to me. Now, oof, I do have the non-farm payrolls here still. So this is the US dollar currency index for our chart. Let's go ahead and let's have a look at that. We broke with this massive level um, last week right here. Uh, and uh, the next key level on the daily is the 1937.5. We are bouncing from that level, but you can see that we are very much in a bearish structure, right? This is a very bearish market. I mean, don't try to buy the US dollar. Uh, the US dollar is currently very bearish uh, on fundamentally and of course, technically speaking. So uh, why? Because, uh, because of... Uh, uh quantitative easing the rounds of qe that we are experiencing and, and of course the liquidity pump into the economy by the central by the federal reserve right so this is the immediate structure that we are currently uh, on on the uh, uh on the us dollar uh let's delete this and let's only use this so this is the first level that uh that uh, we broke with right uh and um, uh, well, uh, of course that uh, we're not going to be trading the DXY per se, uh, but uh, if, but if we continue to get this strength from these lows, we might get uh, into some uh, US dollar buys on the short term to mid term, right? Like the one uh, we are currently on in gold, or I am currently on in gold. So. Uh, what to expect from the US dollar? Let's have a look at uh, the uh, calendar, economic calendar. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have this week. This week we have um, uh, on Monday, today, there's nothing, there's nothing a US dollar related. Tomorrow, uh, we, we have... Uh, uh, revised non-farm productivity there, but this, I mean, there's nothing big. Um, uh, we have crude oil inventories, which, which can, can have some, um, repercussions on the DXY. Uh, and then, uh, this is, uh, December 10th. That would be Thursday on Thursday. We do have the CPI numbers, the inflation numbers and unemployment claims. Of course, the weekly unemployment claims. And on Friday, there's nothing. So uh, the core PPI and the PPI month over month, right? So there's nothing, nothing heavy uh, US dollar related this week, uh, which is, um, which might, 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 might um, give us, I mean, that, uh, because we, we don't have anything heavy on the US dollar, news related, that might give us a relief uh, rally for the week so uh, and more so because of this big spike that we had today but that, that, that those are some big ifs uh, and that is what we are going to start the week on so thank you for uh, joining me again if you want to join the VIP team the, the link is below this video you are missing out or some great analysis and trading signals um, but uh, yeah I mean uh, um, I will be around for any questions and uh, just email us uh, if you have any. All right. So uh, thanks again and uh, goodbye.